Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Just kidding. This is my wife's YouTube channel. Well, she's sick and couldn't drive herself to work to write out her lesson plan. So I drove her and I thought to myself, since I'm here, might as well make another video for her YouTube channel. And I'm wearing a mask because she's sick, but we tested her and she's uh, negative for COVID but I definitely don't want to get what she has right now. So I gotta be super safe. Anyways, here we go. Subtraction. So we know that there are many different methods to subtract. And I just want to show you one method that might be simpler than uh, borrowing and renaming. So here we go. So let's just say I have uh, 5 minus 2. So when we subtract 5 minus 2, we get 3. I just want to make sure that you understand what the 3 actually represents. So if we have 5 minus 2, that is actually three representing the distance or the space in between five and two. So now, what happens if I were to take five and two and shift it up two spots? One, two, I would get seven minus four. And seven minus four is three. So it has the exact same number of space in between. Well, that should be obvious because I move both numbers the same number of spaces up. Well, what if I move five minus two down one space? I would get four minus one. And four minus one is also three, which makes sense. There's three spaces in between those two numbers. Well, if you can understand that when you subtract, you're actually finding the space in between those two numbers, then this new method of subtraction will make sense. So let's say we have 23 minus 14. Well, what numbers do we need to shift up and down? Well, this is the trick here you have to shift the number you're subtracting up to the next multiple of 10. So what's the next multiple of 10 above 14? Well, that is 20. So minus 14 becomes minus 20. So how much did I shift up to go from 14 to 20? Well, that's six spaces. So then I'm going to take 23 and shift it up six spaces. So that will be 29. So then now I subtract 29 minus 20. And that's a whole lot easier because subtracting zero from a number is that number. And nine minus zero is nine, two minus two is zero, all right? So if we were to do this, you would have to borrow and rename and then do the subtraction and you also get nine. And these two numbers are the same. Okay, so the, the purpose is to take that number that you're subtracting, raise it to the next level of the multiple of 10 and you do, you, you do that because it's a whole lot easier to subtract a zero from another number. Let's look at another example. If we have minus 23, the next level, next multiple of 10 that we go up to is minus 30 because subtracting a zero from a number is a whole lot easier. So let's, let's just say that this number up here is 
40. So from 23 to 30, I add 7. So from 40, I have to add 7, and I get 47. And then I subtract 7 minus 0 is a lot easier to do. So we get a 7. 4 minus 3 is a 1. We get 17. If you were to borrow and rename, you should also get 17 here. And those two numbers are the same. Right, so what we're doing is we're shifting both of these numbers up seven spaces to get an easier problem to subtract. The whole goal is we are subtracting zero, which is easy to do. So in class, I turned this into a game for my wife, and this is what it looks like. You have a two-digit number, And you subtract the two-digit number, and you are to change it to a simpler two-digit number subtraction problem. So you pair up with a partner, and each partner they get a dice, and what you do is this first dice I roll. And I filled it in, and my partner then rolls his or her dice and fills in that spot. And we always kept this one a zero. So let's say I rolled a four, and then my partner rolled a six. And this number here. You can choose. So you can choose a number that's lower than five, uh, lower than six, like five, four, three, two, or one. Or you can also roll a die and decide that way. So let's say this number here was a three. So thirty-four. <clears throat> what's the next multiple of ten above thirty-four? Well, that would be forty. 34 is how many spaces to get to 40? Well, that's six. So then I'm going to add six to 60, and I get 66. Well, six minus zero is easy to do, that's six. Six minus four is easy to do, that's two. So I get 26. Over here, if you had to borrow and rename, you should also get 26. And these two numbers are the same. All right. So let's do another example. So I roll a dice and I get, let's say, I got a five here. My partner rolls his or her dice, and they get a three here. So then we choose a number less than three to put in here, and so let's say we chose a one. So we got 30 minus 15. So what's the next multiple of 10 above 15? Well, that'd be 20. How many spaces did I go up from 15 to get to 20? Well, that's five. So I add five to 30, and I get 35. 5 minus 0 is easy to do, that's a 5. 3 minus 2 is a 1, so it's a 15. So if you did 30 minus 15, borrowing and renaming, you should also get 15, which is the same. Okay, so this method of subtraction where you move the numbers up on the uh, number line helps your students create number fluency and number sense. So give this method a try in your classroom.